Hi, I'm Ross and this is the Monday Mouth Off. Each week I'll be screaming and shouting about something that grinds my gears because there's nothing better than a good old Great British Moan. Hopefully some weeks I'll be talking about something good that's happened to me, but most weeks I'll just be mouthing off. So if you like complaining, then this is the show for you. Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're Hello an YouTube, it's Monday, so it can mean only one thing. It's Mouth Off time. Oh yes. Um, so this week... I'm going to talk about the very troublesome thing in in <clears throat> in any gamer's life, I suppose. Um, not just not just for PC console users, but Xbox users and also PlayStation users, because it's it's a da it's a damning thing to hear about when it happens. So I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about because it's in the title of the video it's the red ring of death now last week <clears throat> on a Tuesday I think it was it was it was on a Tuesday um, after six years of faithful service my Xbox did this that's right and um, <clears throat> it was quite it was quite sad actually it was it was quite sad it was it was a horrible occurrence for me because um, after after six years of it not happening I thought oh, it's just not going to happen I mean I knew my Xbox was on its way out I've already had all the casings off it because the disc tray doesn't open properly so I had to take all the casings off to fiddle with the disc tray to do that so I just left them off. Because I thought, oh, that'd save overheating. And then, yeah, it, it did it. And I was like, shit, what am I going to do? So I did what any Xbox gamer does when they when they get their red ring and they're out of warranty. Um, I took it apart. I just took it apart. I didn't know what to do with it after that. I just took it apart. But I used um, my knowledge of the world. Went on YouTube. Found some ways to fix it. There's this thing called the towel trick. Which means you wrap it in towels and wait for it to overheat. I thought, well, that's not a fucking good idea, is it? Anyone who does that, and it's mostly the Americans, I won't lie. Sorry, America, but you, you're going to wrap something electrical in towels. Right. Hang on. This, this is a halogen heater, right? If it stops working, I'm not going to wrap it in towels, all right? I'm really not. Right, just don't be stupid. Um... <clears throat> So people are wrapping it in towels and letting it overheat. And, I don't know, possibly burning their houses down. Don't do it. Um, there's also people who are who are blocking the fans and then letting it overheat. Which it seems a more sensible option than towels. But still, not, re not really a good idea. The fans are there for a reason. To work. Um, if they don't, then that's when you need to think about getting a new Xbox. But I thought, no, it's worth a try. So I use this thing called the penny trick. Um, it seemed a more sensible and viable option, and even if it doesn't fix my Xbox forever, I would feel like, oh yes, I've fixed my Xbox, so I'm a technical genius, I should now go and work, I don't know, PC World or Maplins or something like that. Um, <clears throat> anyway, following this process, I was taking other bits of my Xbox apart, taking some things out, and I found that People on the video make this seem a lot easier than it is, whether, either because they've done it before or just because they're better than me, which is probably the truth. Um, so taking taking things out of the motherboard, uh, like the electrical things, like the dish tray, unplugging them and the fan, unplugging them. Um, on the video, that seemed to come out with a lot lot of effort. Me, however, I was I spent like a, a little minute or two just kind of jiggling it out because I don't, I don't want to break it even more I was the whole point of this is trying to fix it you know um, so that took a while and then turning it upside down there were some screws these tiny black screws which um, which bugged me really because they're um, if anybody knows a lot about screws because everybody does obviously there's there's a there's a few different types of screws now and the screwdrivers that go with them. Now there's the screw where there's like four little sections, four little grooves, and you use like a normal, I don't know, Phillips or screwdriver, and that and that works fine. 
or there's just like a, a line like a line section it's kind of two grooves and it's where you use a flat flathead screwdriver and that that works fine as well xbox being microsoft and being complicated and american or just because it's a piece of hardware and that's the kind of screws they use i don't know it has like a star kind of set of grooves and you need a special screwdriver for that i didn't have that screwdriver um luckily i found a toolbox where there was a drill part but we don't have the drill that fits it so i had to use um the drill part and a pair of pliers to um prise these um screws apart from where they would have been screwed into which didn't work very well to be honest because um they were really tight really tight like really tight like it was it was quite hard anyway i did that and i got that out and that helps that gets the motherboard out now when the motherboard gets out you flip it over and they're supposed to be like these heat pads that microsoft put on to um help conduct heat and help cool out the system they weren't there and you had to remove them to then put pennies on it wrapped in um electrical tape to then exchange as the heat pad thing now because they weren't there i thought well right, if i now put the pennies there is that gonna work luckily it did um i just thought i'll do it anyway so i did that i put it all back together and then it came to the faithful moment, you know, that one moment where you don't know if a whole Sunday's work has gone to waste or not. So slowly and surely, I was putting all the Xbox back together. I didn't put the casings back on. I thought, fuck it, because if it doesn't work, then I'm going to have to try it again. I put all the casings back together. All the casings. And then I turned it on. And I waited. And I waited. And it worked. It worked, ladies and gentlemen. And I feel like a fucking genius of the of like the technical world. I am the king of technology. Uh, if if you've got anything broke, just send it to me. I'll fix it. Obviously. Um, just make sure it's not anything with them star head screws. Like this is my point with this thing. Why? Uh, why are there different types of screws? I don't, obviously different sizes, different widths, different lengths. But why not just have the one type of screw? Why not have the flathead or like that four groove one? Just one, one or the other. Why all these different? It does. It just makes things complicated for people who don't know shit about screws and aren't expecting to 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 do screwing. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're you're just there, kind of tr casually fix your Xbox because you think it'll be the easier thing to do, rather than send it off to somewhere who might not even fix it. And then, to be honest, my mate's got one. He's gonna sell me for thirty quid anyway. But it was just about fixing it. Um. So yeah, screws. Why? Why all these different types? I I can't deal with all these different types of screws. It doesn't. It's fucking annoying. I can't. Mm. Why? I just. I don't know. All right. Let me. I ain't got any screws about. But do you know what I mean? Who who came up with screws? Like there was nails. Just use nails. I know you can't really use nails with Xbox, but it, it might make it work better. You never know. I just. Hmm. That's about it, really. I didn't really know what to talk about. It was just because I fixed my Xbox, and then that screw thing came up. And it, and it did bug me. It did bug me. Because I was like, oh, fuck's sake. I've got all the bits. Took me, like, a couple of days to get all the bits together. Because you have to get this paste shit. So I don't know. And then, it turns out I don't even have a fucking screwdriver to take the screws out. It was really annoying. Really. I, oh, I was pissed off. I was. But I fixed it. It's all fine. Don't worry, guys. I can now start... Playing. Do you know the only reason was, right, this Xbox, the the one that my mate's got for 30 quid, he's, he's not even going to get that until like another couple of weeks, he's just, he's got to get it off his mate or whatever, but um, I started playing Skyrim like a couple of weeks ago, I'm, I've not played it before, so I started playing that, 
and it's really addictive, isn't it? So, and like, you spend hours on it, just, I, I literally spend hours on it, just looting. Looting everywhere. I'm just, I've got a shit ton of gold. I ain't done any quests. I've done like six quests. I'm just fucking looting everywhere. It's brilliant. But, um, yeah, I want, I want to, I want to play some Skyrim. I can't, like, it's bad enough I've got to play on that fucking telly. Look at that telly. It's so shit. I need a new telly. Hopefully it's got, it better have decent screws in it as well. I'm not fucking taking that telly apart. Fucking hell. Um, anyway, yeah, that that's it really. Like, I haven't got, um, much to say. Uh, yeah, s stay safe, I suppose. Um, if you're gonna be out doing dangerous things. Uh, it's, war it's getting warmer at the moment. Not in my room. My room is fucking freezing because that halogen heater fucking broke. Don't use towels to fix it though, do I? <sighs> Americans, man. I'm gonna do a mouth off about Americans at some point. Not next week. I'll find something else to do next week. But in a couple of weeks, I'll do it about Americans. Because um, they bug me. They bug me a lot. Uh, anyway. Take care. Bye. <laughs>